Testing, testing. Can you hear me now? How do you do? Kittens and cowboys and folks and y'all. My name's Honey. And I'm here today with some airheads. And I'm not talking about you. Testing, Woo. testing. Got to do my little sound test. Getting, getting into character. <sighs> All right, let's have some airheads. Grab your snacks, partners, and let's get eating. We got some fine flavors here for the folks. We got some orange. Matches my little overlay. We got some grape. We got some, let me know which one I should try. We got some white mystery. We got some cherry. We got some blue raspberry, <laughs> and we got some lime, watermelon. I have a feeling you'll tell me to start with the white mystery, so I'm going to get on started with that, and a yee-haw howdy doody. <laughs> I'm just entertaining myself. Airheads! Yes, this week's snack is airheads. All right, let's give it a go. I need, um, like a scoring I got to start doing. I would say the texture is a 2 out of 10. Taste is a 3 out of 10. Yeah, that's what I'd give it. I want to try the grape. How are you all doing today? I'm so excited for Freddy Fish 4. This one I recall vividly. Vividly, I tell ya. Ooh, okay, the color's already looking better. Hmm. Three and a half out of 10 for the taste. The grape one's just a little better. Let's go ahead and launch this game, you hear? Ma'am? Howdy. Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. Sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? <gasps> I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, what? let's go. He's not that small. Gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. <laughs> All right, we do have a slight problem, and the problem is that my, oh, here we go. I need to switch my OBS studio to over here so I can see the chat, so I can see the chat. Ooh, I can tell we're going to have some good dance moves in this one. Oh, yeah. Folks, dance along at home. And how do you duty? <laughs> I'm very excited for this one. Do you remember Freddy Fish 4? It's really fun to be here. I'm glad you brought me with you, Freddy. I wouldn't want to come without you, Lothar. You are my best buddy. Friendship. Gosh, Lothar. I'm glad you're here with me. I'm glad too. And I sure am glad y'all are here with me too. We just gotta get all the clicking out. Okay, thanks for letting me know, Penguin. I guess there's only one way we can go right around here. There's Cousin Calico's Ranch. I can't <gasps> wait. 
To Cousin Calico's ranch we go. We're still going. Well, and how do you do? Ain't that one heck of a song, folks? And on to the ranch. I hope we get so many more tunes, uh, so much more music. The hogfish. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town, and I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. I love this fish's fashion. Look at the hat. I want a styling hat like that. I have a little ribbon, but I need a. I'm just jealous. What a. Ooh! We got skills! We got skills! Show us that again. I don't care about the mystery. Show me more rope tricks. Maybe they saw something. Welcome on back, Penguin Party. They really upped their game with the animation in this one. <gasps> oh, we got a horseshoe. <gasps> Best part of the game. We'll be coming back here for that. Okay, we are going this way. Ooh, a purple sea urchin. Oliver, no. <gasps> We're rich, I tell you. Rich. Oh, so, okay. We can't click on anything in here. That's fine. Just there. <gasps> that is not how I like to brush my teeth, let me tell you. Penguin, how was your day today? Of the people who live here, if they know anything about those rustlers. Ooh, uh, the town square, don't you mean the town? Deep, dark, cold in the middle of the ocean? Let's talk over here first. <gasps> Train! <clears throat> Hello, Train. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> laughing at myself, being like, a train. <laughs> Nelson. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. I don't believe you. I do not believe you. Well, we do not believe you at all. for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants. Ooh. Oh, they look nice. 
No, they're very popular. Let's try an orange airhead. Ooh, this one's semi-stuck. Okay, so I bet we're gonna have to make a belt buckle. <sighs> Look, they have a baby and they even made their baby a little belt buckle for the baby's diaper. That's just too dang cute. Did you see this picture? It's my <gasps> son, Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. <laughs> he has your forearms. Mm. It says just buckles. It's an anglerfish. Okay. This didn't tell us much, did it? Are you sure you don't know anything about any rustlers? Maybe you've just noticed someone acting suspicious lately? Yeah, tell us something. Oh, no, I'm sure I haven't seen anything out of the ordinary. Not the voice of someone telling the truth. Hmm. What I think it is, it's ink. Mm. Oh. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. Or good squid. Mm -hmm. I'm the Santa Clara squids, and these would be Perry and Ape. That old grandma just turned that bitch purple. Purple. What do you call purple spit? Spurple. Er, uh, apricot. Er, uh, apricot. Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Yeah, tell us something. Your cousin's hogfish sounds mighty suspicious to me already. <laughs> Aw, no one wants to tell us anything? <laughs> We're playing Freddy Fish down at the briny gold gem we're gonna find what happened to that 10 gallon hat hi i'm freddy and this is my pal luther well hello hey finger phil dr uh, piano ology at your service eight fingered phil hogfish wrestlers have you seen anything suspicious Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't. And that's it? That's okay. Thanks anyway. Someone's gonna have to tell us something at some point. Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Lou. What can I do for you? We uh, wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious <laughs> characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Ooh. Oh, boy. Maybe they left a clue. Thank you. <gasps> I think I see a clue. The, the very obvious clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. One, <gasps> one, three. I'll bet the Rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. Who hasn't eaten a little paper in their day, am I right? We've all eaten paper growing up now and then. Tell me I'm not the only one. 
I feel like just a little nibble out of curiosity. Or is that just me, really? Ooh. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. This is a... Oh, it's just a jukebox. I thought it was going to be a puzzle. Oh. <gasps> it's the squid father. <gasps> so dramatic. This has got to be a puzzle though, right? Am I wrong? It's gotta be a puzzle. I can't be overthinking it. <laughs> a little puffer fish. Okay, we got a little, oh, 10 gallon hat. That's gotta be something, right? The drama of it all. <gasps> We're getting a real feature film here. <gasps> Who you calling ugly? <gasps> oh. <gasps> the good, the bad. Bad and the heavy. All right, we'll come back more for this later. This has got to, something, some, some. that's got to do something, something at some point. All right. I think that's all we can do in here. We got to keep exploring. <gasps> oh. Yeah. That's suspicious. Oh no, oh no. We're about to get ourselves in a real wild western confrontation sometime around here on account of the fact that someone sees us asking around about these 10 gallon hats that have been rustled. Road closer to construction. Hmm. Hmm, I wouldn't be able to go down, but maybe we can go this way. Ooh. See, it makes sense that it's a different setting, but I thought it was going to be another game in the school setting. From like the, the little words, words are hard, like the second game we played. <gasps> I bet. I bet we know this combination. Have you been playing any fun games lately? Penguin, I don't know if you're here. <gasps> We've been had! All right, I don't think we're gonna be able to get in. 
let's eat the note. Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. <laughs> Luther's gonna eat the note. What a champion. Well, I can see why the wrestlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. <laughs> Not like chicken. I don't think we're gonna have a good result trying to swim in there. It's wrestlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be wrestlers. How do you know we're not wrestlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like wrestlers. If you were a wrestler, you'd have a 10 gallon hat like mine, a belt buckle like mine, and a fashionable bow tie. All wrestlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest wrestler gear. You can see from this picture in WrestleMania magazine. Hmm, a purple 10 gallon hat. A big mm. buckle with a cane. Rustler fashion. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers. So you can't come in, because this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. Well, the rustler hideout, all right. <laughs> sure, the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Well, you just gave us the clues and the keys that we need to get in here, sir. And I know exactly where we can get a belt buckle. All right, I am so excited for this. Where should we go? I guess we have to go back. You would think... These animations kill me. You would think that there would be more to do. That's like a whole... <gasps> Not those pigs. <gasps> Don't hurt the pigs! Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. <gasps> oh, it looks like our construction is open now. I guess whoever was working here is done now. I'm so excited. Honestly, this is a fashion I statement. Outfits look nice. I think so too. A purple, ten gallon hat. Darn it, mine's brown. We don't have any of those things. Alright. Let's get this little screwdriver. Thanks. Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's a dance floor. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about six feet by six feet ought to do it. So we need some wood. My mouth is... It takes a lot of chewing to eat an airhead. Mmm. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My Who are you calling, ma'am? Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go. <laughs> Therefore, I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Freddy rolling her eyes. <sighs> To Gil Barker, you owe Shady Shark 20 claims. Oh, no. Pay up pronto. What's this? Bill Barker's in That's debt. Uh, That's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. 
We're just all eating paper in this game, huh? I was thinking about Mondays today. Usually Mondays are really tough for me. I think it's like you don't have the momentum to start your week. And so I just get so tired working on a Monday. Can we not go this way? <gasps> what? A little tomato. <gasps> oh, you got a boot now? Now you got a teapot? Where are you getting all these things? Where are you getting all those things? Um, but it's been nice having a little Monday stream like this because it's something to actually look forward to on my Mondays. Oh my goodness. We got a whole puzzle here. Let's go. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. It's a crank handle. What's it doing here all by itself? Shouldn't it be attached to something? Yeah, I doubt it belongs in this cave. I wonder how it got in here anyway. Good question. I love the bubbles to get our items. Okay, let's go onwards. Oh, we can just go back this time. <gasps> All right, there we go. There we go. We got past the jellyfish. Yes, we did. I guess that's all we can do in this little cave, huh? Okay. Let's go this way. Wanted. Black Hat Clifford. <laughs> For the discourteous offense of cactus hugging. <gasps> Not cactus hugging, no! <sighs> I don't understand how that. Because that only harms yourself. Unless the cactuses are an endangered species. Okay, I can't lie, these airheads are kind of addicting. my brother hi penguin party welcome back do you think you could let us buy sorry can't why is that i think i'm stuck just move it move aside step aside let us in it's no you use keep puffing up like that Reflex happens whatever anybody gets near me. So why don't you step aside so we can get through there? I guess we can't go this way. Let's go back and talk to um, our belt buckle vendor. And we also need to get that plank of wood for, for these folks. Oh, we haven't gone exploring here. <gasps> oh, we got here. Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Freddy Fish does not know stranger danger. Call me Sahara Slam, professional traveling man and blues musician. Musician? Do you play an instrument? Harmonica. Sahara Slam, why don't you play your harmonica for us? Where's your harmonica, Slam? We'd like to hear you play. Well, I'd love to hear you play. Song about that. Listen here. <gasps> oh, I used to play harmonica all the live long day. But now I miss my monica. I traded it away. Yes, I traded my harmonica, the apple of my. I 
braided away my monica for a ratty old bow tie. You traded your harmonica for a bow tie? Yeah, I wish I hadn't now. Aww. Was it to become a wrangler? <gasps> he was trying to become a wrangler and it traded his darn harmonica away. Whatever you're cooking smells good. It's a Harris Slim special super stew. My own recipe. What's in it? <gasps> oh. Not quite ready. Sahara Sam's Slam's special super stew. I kind of want to ask ChatGPT what's in Sahara Slam's special super stew. Okay, create a recipe for the following. Sierra Slam's special super stew. Is this another Freddy Fish game or the same one we were playing? Last time we played Freddy Fish 2, The Haunted Schoolhouse. And this is Freddy Fish 4, The Case of the Hogfish Rustlers of Briny Gulch. So this is actually a different Freddy Fish game. The last one was in a, it was the school, there was the movie theater. This one is more of a Wild West theme. All right. All right, here we go. Here's the recipe. Recipe. Sarah Slam special super stew. Ingredients. Oh no. Oh no. Three cups Mountain Dew Code Red. One bag jalapeno flavored cotton candy, roughly torn. Two Twinkies unopened. Four Slim Jims chopped into one inch pieces. Half cup of pickled beetroot diced. One jar of marshmallow fluff. Two cups of neon green relish. Three tablespoons of grape jelly. One can of Spam cubed. One handful of Pop Rocks candy. Four pieces of dried squid sliced thin. One cup nacho cheese sauce. Half cup of tangy tamarind paste. Two tablespoons of wasabi powder, one liter of root beer, a handful of gummy worms for garnish, rainbow sprinkles for garnish. I don't think we could eat that. That, that sort of thing's not going to be edible to anyone but a steel-stomached fish. Um, there's like the full ingredients for it too. Or the instructions. In a large, heavy-bottomed pot, Pour in the Mountain Dew Code Red. Bring to a gentle simmer over medium heat. This is, this is too much. ChatGPT is doing too much. Oh my. We can't, whew, I'm getting sick just thinking about that. Free wood. <gasps> I forget what size wood they wanted. I think it was six by six. You should be careful you don't get splinters. <laughs> That's a great life lesson, Luther. Oh, we missed that purple sea urchin. Look at this. Who's this cutie, cute, cute whale? Wow. You're bigger than, well, just about everybody, I guess. You should see my brother. I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. Well, it's real nice to meet you both. My name is Fluke. Fluke, you should see my brother joke. Is a, must be a running gag because that's the second creature that's used this one. What do you do around here, Fluke? I'm the town's cabaret. Well, that's a place to put on shows and things. Ooh. Uh, where do you do that? Inside my mouth. Really? Sure. It's big enough. That's neat. <laughs> it is big enough. Here's the thing. They're building a stage. This is going to take him out of business. It says cabaret. We'd like to see the cabaret. Is that okay? 
please be my guest. <gasps> what? What? <gasps> ooh, ooh, we have a 10 gallon hat. Oh, we've got a 10 gallon hat. Do we floss with that? It's stuck in there pretty good. Yeah. What? That's it? Oh my. Oh, what on earth sound is that? Pull it out ourselves. We need some kind of a tool or something. Okay, we gotta get that screwdriver. What do you think, Penguin? How does this uh, compare to the last Freddy Fish we played? <laughs> Alright, we'll come back to the cabaret after we get the screwdriver. Thank you, human cabaret, oh sir. I'm not gonna lie, I might have another one of these airheads. They're quite addicting. Hey, Let's take our purple sea urchin. There's less singing and dancing, and it's a huge letdown. I agree. No, there's way less singing and dancing. In the last one, every single creature would sing and dance. And so far... It's only been the first one that had a had a song. Maybe we're not interacting with them enough. <gasps> hey, that sail is keeping the water from coming down here. Let's go this way. There's a porthole. Let's try to get over there. Mmm. We can't get in there. The water level is too low. All right, we'll need to do that. Something about that first. Maybe this lever or pulley has something to do with it. Yeah, I wish there was more songs. I feel like we had songs like every three minutes in the last one. This doesn't count. Was that Sly Fox? <gasps> Pet Pot! Okay, this is a cute little Easter egg. Look at this. <gasps> Pajama Sam! So it's creatures from the other humongous entertainment games. Creatures. Characters, I guess. Sly Fox, I love that. It's a crank handle. <laughs> You're strong, you can do it. We got it, we got it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh no! Luther, Luther no! Oh. It's not Luther. You are. Oh, it's pretty cute. Better. All right. So, what game do you think we should play next after Freddy Fish? Because I, first of all, I bought the whole humongous entertainment. Um, hey, look. This place is ooh. With water now. Oh, it's now all filled with water. Um, I got the whole Humongous Entertainment, like, every game they own in the Steam sale. And I also got this Monkey Island nostalgic game, which we didn't play growing up, or at least I didn't play it growing up, but I know some people have suggested it to me. <gasps> it's lemongrass. Is that anything <gasps> like lemonade? It's a little more sour than 
eliminated. Boy, you're not kidding. I kind of like it, though. Should we stream Nancy Drew on Twitch or YouTube? Oh, I want to test out all these flavors. Here, I'll, I'll eat at the same time. It's pepper. Really? Mm hmm. That's one powerful sneeze. What is this going to be? Ketchup or hot sauce? It's cayenne. Ooh. Cayenne is kind of hot. Ooh, they're just diving right in. I love all the um, little animations that this game has that aren't a part of the main plot, just for fun. Another purple sea urchin. So I. Been leaving these all over the place. I ordered. Um, okay, that's the way we came in. I ordered a Barbie Udi. I'm really excited. It came in the mail today. So, oh, I should have worn it for stream. I might have to stream again before the Barbie movie so that I can wear my Barbie Udi. What is this? Spice container. <gasps> oh, we can fill it up with those spices we just consumed. Okay, we got a calendar. Okay, that's not a useful thing. Lights? What's up here? Okay, just silly little things. MSG. <gasps> oh. M. This letter might come in handy. So we need to maybe get the screwdriver. G. To to get these um, letters. And then let's see. I guess that's all we can do in here. Um, okay, let's go back. Let's go get our screwdriver. Yes, have you seen what an Udi is? I'm so excited. I'm going to post the link for you to see. And Monkey Island, I think, would be fun. I like it's another like nostalgic point and click. It was a little bit before my time, um, but I would love to still try it. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Oh my gosh, Penguin. Um. um keep them on oh. Until I get back. Stop. This is just a little suspicious. You know who. Deliver it right away. It's urgent. <gasps> yes, sir. Little male fish. What were you doing there? Mm -mm. Oh, hi, kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're on to you. Oh, I think I was delayed on my end. Oh, did you just get caught up? Ice. I was just saying, um... <laughs> Did you see any more of my TikToks today? I like cannot stop making them. Like I am having too much fun making them. And today I tried my first um, like a streamer vlog. I was like, come with me to prep for stream. And I definitely can improve like quality, but it's it was pretty fun to make. Harmonica, harmonica, to play you was to kiss you. But now all I have is this old bow tie. Oh, Monica. 
How I miss you. Why did you trade away your harmonica if you liked it so much? Well, I really wanted a bow tie back then. Now I trade back in a second. They're 50% of your TikToks. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I appreciate you watching them. Okay, we got the wood. Here. Maybe w let's try and poke them until they sing for us. Say, that looks about right. They're a little saw and a little hammer nose. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Taking Hammerhead Shark to the next level. <gasps> this is so cute. You got it. You can do it. You're so close. <gasps> oh. Oh my. Our work here is done. Look at those cute little coffee mugs. Little construction. Exactly. Will they sing for us now? We should be moving along to our next job. Uh, let's just have a little more coffee first. Agreed. <laughs> uh, what is our next job anyway? We're supposed to be making a pyramid out of barnacle flats. Is a pyramid round? According to our blueprints, it is. Oh, that's incorrect. You're teaching children something wrong. You remember the monkfish java we had while we were working on the kelp seed silo? Yeah, excellent coffee. Say, didn't that building end up round too? I think you're right. Okay, they're not going to sing for us. Great Brazilian sea nut coffee we had while we were building that stage last year? Oh, yeah. That was some really good coffee. I made it, I think. Says you. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have Chap GBT tell me about Brazilian sea nut coffee and what sets it apart. All right, here it is. And I said it should relate to at least three different fish. Brazilian sea nut coffee is an incredibly unique coffee experience. It takes a special preparation. Oh. That revolves around sea life from the beautiful Brazilian coast, specifically three species of local fish. The golden king mackerel, the yellowtail amberjack, and the Brazilian pufferfish. It's a perfect blend of sea, land, and sky, setting it apart from any other coffee in the world. Wow, okay, okay. Um... Hold on, it tells us about the three kinds of fish. I just told it to rewrite it with more puns. Firstly, the Golden King Mackerel, often called the Nutcracker of the Sea, has a liking for Brazilian sea nuts. These fish aren't just fishing for compliments. Their digestive system begins the process of transforming the sea nut, making the flavors bolder and brighter. After these nuts have been deposited, back into the sea excuse me the digestive system are are these nuts that the a fish pooped these nuts and then we're putting them in our coffee next the yellow tail amberjack the bean connoisseur of the sea takes a crack at the nuts these nuts go through another round of digestion in the amberjacks and much like the mackerel the amberjack adds another layer of depth to the flavor these nuts have been pooped out by two fish once past, these amber jewels are scooped up for the next stage. The third fish, the Brazilian puffer fish, really blows up the flavor. Known for its potential danger, this particular strain of puffer fish secretes a non-toxic enzyme that aids in the outer shell's decomposition and enriches the flavor. These coffee nuts are soaked in this solution. Interesting, further deepening their complexity, it's a bit of a puff performance, but the results are truly unique. Wow, the sea nuts are dried and roasted to finfection. It uh, brings out the intense flavor, which is unexpected as a fish out of water. Each sip of this coffee is a testament to the remarkable journey these cut nuts have taken swimming through the digestive tracts of the marine life that graces Brazil's stunning coastline. 
Whoa. Please note, this is a fictitious coffee incorporating digestion processes and aquatic puns for entertainment purposes. It does not exist in reality, but is inspired by such real world examples as Kopi Luwak, which is produced using partially digested coffee cherries eaten and defecated by the Asian palm civet. I just learned a lot. Oh, oh golly, I just learned a lot. Okay, back to the mystery, I guess. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it paid <laughs> for a job well done. Gee, thanks. Okay, so this means we can go get... Well, let's go find out what letter belt buckle we might need. Or is this going to be in our chart? I think these wrestler outfits a buckle by Kenneth. So we would need a, a K buckle. Okay. But who do we bring the seasoning to? That's what I want to know. How much would it cost to have a custom belt buckle made? Mm, that's a good question. Seeing as how you said you're Calico's cousin and all, I do the job for free if you brought me the materials. Thank you, Nelson. That's very generous. Don't mention it. Okay, so we need to get a letter K. Maybe these three little little peeps have something to do. Um with the seasonings. Oh, this must be how this must this must be how we dye our 10 gallon hat. Mr. Fingers, could I learn to play the piano like that? Why, sure you could. You know, you two remind me of two of my own 17 children. Really? What are their names? Four and 11. When you have 17 kids, it's much easier that way. Did he, did he just say he's naming his kids after numbers? Boy, the water sure is warm today, isn't it? It's gonna be hot water for those wrestlers when we catch up to them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm suspicious on her, too. What can I do for you kids? Well, let's look at the menu. Aw. Yum. <gasps> Oops. Um, thanks anyway. Sorry about the mess. That's okay. Happens all the time. I should probably stop serving drinks that way. It's just too much fun. <gasps> you gotta learn your lesson. Okay, so the, no one here is telling us about the seasonings. Maybe we have to make maybe we can use one of the seasonings in some fashion with um the person who's guarding the rustler hideout <sighs> let's go this way first <gasps> oh we haven't been this way Why does he seem so sad? Oh no. It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. Aww. E -tip it? That's what it says on the mailbox, doesn't it? Now leave me be. I'm waiting for an important package. Now leave me be. Oh, that's really pitiful. Oh, no. It's missing a handle on the lid. Okay, we heard you the first time. We'll go on. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's a there's a lot of places we still haven't been. Look at that fork <gasps> spinning on the propeller. <gasps> Get 
get used to this. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa. Don't worry. We'll get you off of there. <laughs> he said, Whoa, Nelly. How do we get him off? How? He's tied on there with that flock. I'll get it. Floss. Yeah. Luther is a daredevil. We need the floss for the uh, whale. Luther. Are you okay, Luther? Yeah. I don't think we can get the rope off while this thing is spinning, though. So, we need to find a way to stop it from spinning. Oh, okay. Oh, another purple sea urchin. Another purple sea urchin. You think they just here. Look at us, look at us. Aww. Wow. One of these colors has got to have something to do with that. Oh, just when I was getting used to going that away. <gasps> I think that did something. Should we go see? Okay, it slowed it down, but it didn't stop him. All right, let's see what's gonna happen next. I think that did something. <laughs> okay, let's go check. Look, we did it. I'm proud of us. Proud of us, y'all. Watch this, Freddy. I learned. Oh my gosh. The fish scouts. <gasps> is that the sheriff? Sheriff Zachariah Shrimp is in your deck. If there's ever anything you need, why, you just ask. Well, as a matter of fact, there are some rustlers who... But I must be off. There's law breaking a foot somewhere. I can smell it. <laughs> He's like... I am... The wrestlers are actually the ones who tied me up, so I will not be messing around with them. That's such a cop thing to do, is just worry about the loiterers. Okay, I gotta have another one of these. <laughs> Aw, they were both in Fish Scouts. Oh, that little octopus. Okay. So now time to go. I wonder if we can make it spin just for the fun of it after we've made it stop. <laughs> just for fun, because why not? Okay, I think we still need to go this way. Oh! It's e tip its package! And the mail truck broke! Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No, you like the letter U. Just you? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, and... Um, no, now, what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. It's giving, um... Esteban Julio Ricardo Montoya de la Rosa Ramirez. Is this your seahorse? Yep, his name's Elmer. From Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Okay. Address to e 
<gasps> it's E Tippet's package. Hey you! That's your wagon over there, right? Yep. It broke down, so I'm delivering mm -hmm. the mail on foot. Takes a little longer that way though. <laughs> Takes a little longer. He's moving so slow. How long has it been since your wagon broke down? <laughs> It's such a throwback, right? It looks like you've gone about five feet since then. Yep. Making pretty good time. Pretty good time. Do you just have that one delivery to make? Yep. After this one, it should be time for me to retire. It'll be time for him to retire. I love this snail. Looks like the wheel on this wagon has gone. Oh, I bet we can go get the bolt. From um the guy with the debt and we can sell it or fix it a triangle shaped nut mm. are you ready to start a mini game here's a fun game pop the bubbles before they run into you Oh. Um, did you prefer Sweet Life on deck or this original Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? Wait, how do I control my person? Pew, 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 pew. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're so far up here, though. I don't know if I can affect that I love this game <sighs> I wish it had a purpose like you could unlock something by winning it I'll get you you little bubble with my great aim is that all we can get oh next level next level level up Level up, level up, level up, level up. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm getting ya. All the bubbles, I'm coming for all the bubbles. And I still got all my lives. Oh yeah, all the bubbles, oh yeah. Look at this precision, precision work. I'm just trying, pop you bubble. They all, we're missing on like every single one. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. We gotcha. We gotcha. We gotcha. We can do it. I don't think we need to keep playing this. Right? Quit. We did good though. It's almost like he's back to right where he started from. <sighs> okay. We have the floss for the whale now. Oh no, we don't need to go back this way. But we have the floss for the whale. We need to get a bolt, a triangle shaped bolt for the wagon. So that e poor little Lee Tippett can get his package. <laughs> Mr. Tippett! <laughs> Scared? We mm -hmm. won't hurt you. Sorry, it's not you. It's me. I'm a hermit crab, you see. We scare easily. Oh, well, well, try not to startle you. Thank you. That's so, so sad and oh, so sweet. No. It's me. We've got that. Okay. Let's go this way. Because at least we know the whale's that way. This way, maybe? There's a lot of places to explore in this map. I don't know that this is anything that we need, but let's just double check. Oh. I don't know what pepper we need. And do we figure out what's out this door? We don't know what letter we want. An M and S or a G. 
Should we go for the G? Oh, I guess we're going for the M. Oh, no, we're going for the G. But we need two, right? Or are we just getting one? Can we take them all? Or is it going to make us put the G back? I really only need one letter. All right, we'll take the S. And we'll see if it's good enough. Okay. Now to the find the whale. And let's get some, maybe some pepper while we're here. Pepper? I don't know if it's pepper we need. What a texture that is. It's like the... Um... When a TV is like a snowy... You know what I'm talking about? Like an old TV. What about cake? <laughs> Trying to get the hogfish to eat something. Here, try it. But it's chocolate. Yeah. That's so funny. Okay, let's go back this way. Okay, let's go back inside. Look at your teeth. Back inside. Oh, we can floss now. We can floss now. I can't do it sitting down. Um, the floss. How often do you floss? Penguin, do you floss every day? <gasps> I think you could use a little bit <gasps> oh. They make smaller ones? Wait, um, Luther can hide inside our hat. <gasps> They've got book of bedtime stories. Look at those puppy dog eyes. Oh. oh my gosh, a new parent made this game. We got the hat unstuck from between your teeth. A little floss was all we needed. Well, that's a relief. It was driving me crazy. Can we borrow it? Sure. I'd only get it caught in my teeth again anyway. Thank you. We got our hat. You're welcome. I cut us off. So rude. Okay, so we have the hat. So now... Oh, I wish I was paying attention to where things were. This is a long, wide map. I don't know if we need to go back this way. So let's go back here. We can try and dye our hat purple. So that's a thing we can definitely do. Yeah, let's dye it purple with purple spit. That I did not pick up on as a kid, but that's nasty. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, that's a gross. That's a gross. It's not our finest moment. Look at Freddy's face. Yeah, Luther is so stoked. Luther's like, this is actually cool. There, that's much better. Okay, so we have our hat. This is what we need to look like wrestlers. We've got a hat just like that. We still need the belt buckle and the bow tie. Oh, we're gonna have to find the harmonica. If we find the harmonica, we can get the bow tie. But where on earth would that harmonica be? Here, can you make us a belt buckle with this on it? <gasps> He's so excited. Or just bring me a rounded piece of metal to use as the back part, and I'll get to work. Where are we going to find a rounded piece of metal? I feel like this game is actually a lot harder than the first one. Okay, so we need a rounded piece of metal. We need a harmonica. And we need a uh, bolt of some kind. Cousin Calico, we saw one of the rustlers. You did? They're at the old ship, the Rusty Rustler. That's good work, both of you. Any sign of the hall? <laughs> They're at the Rusty Rustler. They're in the most obvious hiding spot. Inside and rescue them if we looked more like rustlers. Dress like rustlers, eh? That sounds like a good plan. But how do you know what a rustler looks like? She's like, it's fine. This isn't dangerous plan at all. Please go dress like a criminal. And get these hogs back. And you got a plan? I'm not going to ask any more questions. Can we go? So there's nothing really over here either. You would think. Okay, we need a harmonica. And where are we going to find it? Yeah. Have we tried going this way? We don't look like the person yet. Eek. Eek. So we can't go back here just yet. Okay, so this is not where we're going yet. Where on earth? And these games always stump me. And I'm 30 years old. <sighs> but we got to be able to find a harmonica somewhere. Let's go this way. Okay, gum nuts we need. Those are fickle fit locking wheel nuts. The finest wheel nuts ever made. They come in a variety of shapes, guaranteed to fit any wheel made after 1986. And if it doesn't fit, you can take advantage of our liberal exchange policy. Fickle fit nuts are all currently available at one low price. Just three purple sea urchins per nut. So, first of all, you should give us a discount because you're in debt, old buddy, old boy. Fit wheel nuts are built with a patented circular gap designed to fit right over your axle. In addition, the outer surfaces are molded to the exact specification of a variety of wheel manufacturers. You just can't buy a better wheel nut. And what a price. Only three purple... I'm trying to buy one, dude. A better deal. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly. Now. The nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans. And you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. All right, and we got you. Fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yeah. All right, it's an excellent investment. We got him. Stop talking and let us give you the urchins. <laughs> Very good. 
All right. Shush. Let me just give you my third purple sea urchin. <gasps> he says, young lady. So he does say young lady. So he, the, we thought it was just in Freddy Fish 2 that they say that Freddy Fish is a girl. But no, he says young lady, so he knows. We're getting a gum nut. I mean, a nut, not a gum nut. You don't know where the harmonica would be? Triangle, please. Thank you. No, thank you. Can we buy another wheel nut? We don't need another wheel nut. We don't need another wheel nut. Okay, we have our triangle wheel nut. We can go fix. You got the twenty clams you owe me, Gil. Uh, not exactly. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not exactly. Uh oh. I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry. I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big. <gasps> I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. He's the one responsible for the hogfish. Oof. That's our guy. That's our guy. I think... This way to the mailman. Yeah, I have no idea where to find. Oh, I wonder. Maybe we can use the the because we haven't been able to go through here. Maybe the pepper will do something. Here, try some pepper. <gasps> yeah, let's make you sneeze. Luther is like the typical class clown. Okay. Oh, thank goodness we found the harmonica. And you know, actually, we need to get the K from Kelp because we don't need an S belt buckle. We need a K belt buckle. Is it broken? I think maybe you just need some lessons. Hmm. This is harder than it looks. You don't have the brain power today, Penguin. That's okay. We found the harmonica. We need the K. Heck yeah. I do this. This is bringing me back as a kid. I think I had to make remake the belt buckle like a bunch of times because I like did not put two and two together that we're looking for a K um, on our belt buckle. <laughs> Okay. So I cannot. Okay. We're still looking for Okay, we can get the bow tie from the person who wants the harmonica. But the question is going to be where are we going to <gasps> Oh, I wonder if we could take the mailbox lid and that could be our piece of metal for our belt buckle. Okay, let's go find E. Tippets. I bet we need to... God, there's so many places to go. So many places to go. Ouchie, ouchie. Ugh. <sighs> There we go. Okay. Okay, we didn't even need to go this way. So, where on earth we Okay, we need to go back. We probably need to buy the gum, right? 
Because why else would we have two purple sea urchins? So, let's buy the gum. I feel like the gum, maybe we can use the gum for e-tippets. We'd like to buy your pack of bubble gum, please. Excellent. This game is taking so much longer than I anticipated. I think the last one took like an hour and 20 minutes. I feel like we're not even close to solving this mystery. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. Oh my, don't be dramatic. Don't be dramatic. No refunds. This guy. Okay. <laughs> All the songs and dances. Okay. We're looking for E tippets. We're looking for the crab. But where on earth is that crab? Because by golly, I can't seem to find them anywhere. And I really think I've looked everywhere. Crab's not over here, so the crab's gotta be over there. We just came from over there, but I didn't see the crab. What? What? Okay, let's give him the correct letter, because we know we need a K, not an S. Here's the old letter back, in case you need it. Thank you. <laughs> He's so excitable. <sighs> He's so excited. Okay. We're finding E tippets. And we're finding this male snail. The snail mail. Here's the mail and never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. This is. Did we go this way? I'm so lost. We found the harmonica, so we can get the bow tie. We got your harmonica. <gasps> Whoa, boy! Play those tunes. This lovely bow tie in exchange with my compliments. Thanks. Why, how to duty? We're one step closer. Oh, yeah, play that harmonica. Thank you <gasps> so much. Now I can play the blues again. <gasps> oh, it's really a play us a song. Play us a song. Oh, golly, I love it. All right, we're looking for E-tippets. We have our bow tie. We have our hat. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Goby, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They it's literally me. like the so parents of a newborn. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> the drama. I have to call Mr. Big again. <gasps> Not Mr. Big. <gasps> okay. What if we give him gum? Not gonna do me any good. Okay. That's not that's not a solution. Let's go find this little mail snail. Snail mail. Oh, snail mail. I get it now. It's snail mail. Wow. And I was slow like a snail in picking that up. Because he's a male snail. It is snail mail. We did it. It's fixed. And it'll stay on there, right? We 
don't have to use any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spoots him something <gasps> awful. Elmer. What you got against glue? <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Yowza. Not the whole mailbox. My package at last. A new ma oh, a new mailbox lid. Mr. Tippett, do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure, take it and leave me to hermit in peace. <laughs> Leave me to hermit in peace. Every introvert. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Tippett? Go away. I'm busy. What's there to do inside a mailbox? I'm hermiting. Oh. I love this dialogue. Very. And you have to be alone to do it. He's like, get all the heck away from me. Oh, we can make our belt buckle now. 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 Oh, yeah. We can make our belt buckle. We can make our belt buckle. We're going to become a little wrestler. Okay. 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 Oh, well, I think we're on to something by golly gee. By golly gee, I do. I do think we're on to something. Here you go. Here you go. This is just bringing me so much joy, his excitement and enthusiasm. Okay, stand back. Let's see it. How's the sausage made? Here we go. Slap that. Just glue. This is not a very mechanical process. My best work. My best work, he said. Uh, and he glued that on. Thanks, Mr. Torso. Please call me Nelson. Mr. Torso. We've got all of those things. Yes. Do we need to go? <gasps> oh, we're about to rustle. Yes, we are. Just call me Freddy Rustler, because I ain't no Freddy Fish anymore. All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no oh. idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah? Well, I'm going the Optimist. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio. No non-wrestlers inside. Okay, wait, we need to put on our costume. How do we wear it? Maybe we can wear it if we go up closer. Put on the hat. Yeah, let's put on the disguise. Let's put on the disguise. <gasps> oh. What do you think? It might be a little big for you, but do I look like a wrestler? Bow tie next. It barely goes around us. Where are we going to fit the belt? It's just hanging on us. We got a scheme and a plan. It's a fish shaped hat. There's definitely no fish in there. Definitely no fish in there. Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. And howdy. Howdy. I 
reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Oh, absolutely. He's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Oh no. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. I'm so excited. We did it! Shh. We did it. We're inside. Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from. <laughs> hey, you two aren't rustlers. What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere. Mr. Big will know what to do with you. Oh no. Oh no. Well, Luther's tiny. We surely could get out of this cell. Nobody knows. And they took all our stuff, too. It's like a little escape room. Ooh, little bubble, little bubble. Look at all these little fish and these little bubbles. Oh. Mm-hmm. We're so strong. Here we go. We're not missing. We know exactly where we're. <gasps> They're eating gum. Didn't we have gum? What do we do? And they love the bubble gum, though. We know exactly who's behind this. Are they not coming with us? How do we get out? Hmm. There's got to be a way. You're right, Luther. There's got to be some other way out of this room. Okay, is it behind this... <laughs> behind this painting? No, it's not. Okay. What is the other way out of this room? Um... We don't have anything with us to get out. There's gotta be something so obvious. Let's go back down here. Oh, can we sneak out down here? <gasps> okay, so at least we can sneak out. <gasps> Ouch. This is a cool scene. Okay, we need a bigger opening. Ooh, 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 let's press the button. <laughs> what did that, so that, it did, it just let that down. I 
Is it gonna... Let's put the anchor down. This reminds me when I was playing Treasure in the Royal Tower, Nancy Drew. And my friend and I kept trying to like close the door to this room behind us. Like make sure it's closed, but the game mechanic is such that the person's gonna come through the door anyways. Okay, let's go this way. We need to get something to make a bigger opening. Like a crowbar. <gasps> Ooh. I see something behind this thing. I can't see it very well. The rudder's in the way. I think we have to move this rudder if we're going to get that thing out of there. Okay, we need to move the rudder. Can we do it? Find some other way to move it. This is like part two of all the puzzles, so we need to find another way to move the rudder. Hmm. Okay, let's go this way. We need to find a way to move the rudder to get the anchor. We also need to get something to make the hole bigger. <gasps> what? We got a rubber ducky? That's a horrifying duck. I thought that was gonna be a compass we could take. Okay. Maybe this will move the rudder. This has gotta move the rudder. Oh yeah. Did you hear something? Creaking noise? I heard that creaking noise. I did. Alright, let's go. Oh, I'm so excited. We're finally on to them. We're going to get these dang rustlers. We're going to get these hogfish out of there. Look at this neat <gasps> Please be careful. Oh, my goodness. Hook safety first. Hook safety first. <sighs> Don't try this at home. <sighs> That's a good idea. Okay, I think we can probably use that to open the hole a little more. Ooh, okay. But then, oh, I bet we need to pull the anchor up, attach the chain and then drop the anchor. Look at this, look at this, look at us. We're little puzzle solvers. We're little puzzle solvers. Oh yeah, we're so smart. Okay, now let's drop the anchor. One more time, Luther. Drop that anchor one more time. Let's do it. Okay. We got the hogfish free. We got him free. We're going home. The food's terrible here. We don't like your bubble gum. What do we do now, Maury? I think you should give yourselves up. <gasps> We're such intimidating little fish. What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around. Real <gasps> slow like. It's sheriff's. <gasps> yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Yep. Wow. That was mighty fine work after a hand and knees to. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys are ashamed of you. Can't even see his eyes. He's all mustache and eyebrows. Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. <gasps> oh. Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah. I don't believe you. Jim. Actually, I know. 
<gasps> we already know. <gasps> He's in the room. They're gonna make us guess? It's gotta be this guy, right? Mr. Barker, you've been in some financial trouble lately, haven't you? What makes you say that? Luther and I overheard you talking to a loan shark. Ooh, a loan shark! You can't get anything past us. Yeah, I'm afraid I did. What was it that first tipped you off? It was the gum you had in the police. Oh. Salesman. And I got to wondering what had happened to the rest of it. The hogfish were still chewing it when we got here. Yes. Mm hmm. Oh. Weren't so good, and I was going to have to declare bankruptcy. I figured even if I couldn't sell the hogfish, I could at least get into hogfish ranching, which, as you know, is a much more respectable profession than sales. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. Yeah, you shouldn't. Exactly. Yes. Oh. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers, but we don't know how. Ranchers, Aww. You know, I do still need some help out of my place. I'm remediative. Well, it's so remediative. We've got restorative justice hair on Briny Ranch. I love it. It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. It's hard work out here for a hogfish rancher. Of course. Here, I've got something for you. She's the cool aunt. We get our own hats now. Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Show you how to tie like oh my goodness. Ooh. Um. Oh, give me a home where the, where the buffalo roam and his ear is a antelope play. Y'all, this was so much fun. And I hope to see you on my next nostalgia. Nostal